And Nelson, how did you come down and get to discover that, that you're from the same city as, as his wife? But has that come up in the locker room? Her, her cousin played on my on my high school football team. He was actually my backup running back. So we were in the same backfield. Uh, so I knew her because she'd come to games back when we were in high school. Wow. Yeah. Small world. Very. How important is that communication like outside of you getting to know guys up on the field? Uh, relationships are very important, you know. Uh, I think relationships help you have uh, trust, you know, on and off the field. You know, there's trust that's built through repetition and plays. But there's also trust and respect that's built through, you know, just camaraderie and relationship. Now, so what did you see from uh, J.C. Jackson? Obviously, you know him in practice now, but when you were preparing to play the Patriots with the Eagles and then last year with the Raiders, what was that guy like on tape and how does he compare to the guy you see now? Competitive. Competitive. He also has a special skill set for going to go get the football. He high points it like a receiver. I think uh, one of the things that we say is he is a defensive receiver. That's what uh, myself and Jacoby were saying on the sideline last game. I think he does an amazing job of finding the football and going to go get it. Does he remind you that he was a high school All-American as a wide receiver? Do you hear that at all from him? No, but I could see it. I mean, I, I think he does an amazing job. He probably was a great 50-50 jump ball guy. When it comes to the explosive passing game, you guys haven't been able to, to connect on a ton of those in week one. Um, why do you think that is? Why, why is this offense sort of a, a shorter throwing offense at the moment? Uh, that's not really what this offense is. That's just so far what you've seen. You know, we're working, we're preparing to do whatever we need to do. Um, and I think that we have a lot of guys that are capable of doing multiple things. And each week, uh, different opportunities present themselves. And I don't really think you have to force things. I think you take what's there. And we have a very calculated offensive coordinator, and we have a very calculated offense. So what's there is what we need to take. And um, eventually, those big plays will be there. How much patience does that require? It takes uh, it takes some patience, but it's about just working, working. The defense di dictates when that explosive play is there. You know what I'm saying? Like if they give you it, then you go take it. You don't force it because bad things happen when you try to force things in this game. Along those lines, Nelson, what have you noticed from Mac, like as a rookie, to take that? You know, to not try to take what's not there. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. what, what, have you, what have you noticed from him in that area? I think he's, he's very coachable. He's, uh, he's come in here and he's learned what the coaches are telling him and what they're teaching him. He's watching the game. He's being patient with the football and he's doing his job. You know, every day a lot is asked of him and I think the coaches do a good job of preparing him. And it's a lot of respect to him for being so coachable. Receivers in the past have come here and you know talked about the difficulty of just learning the offense. Big one back in the day, said it was like trying to learn a new language to him. Just came from a different system. For you heading into week three, you know how has that process gone? And where do you feel like you're at? I mean, obviously you're playing. You know the play well, which is how has the acclimation process been now that you're starting to see? It's going well, but there's more work to be done. Every day, you know, I try to study very hard, like beginner's mentality. If I need flashcards, I use flashcards. Ask questions. And just get yourself prepared to play games. You know what I'm saying? Each week, that's the goal. Do everything you can so that on Sunday, you know, you're playing fast. Nelson, do you feel like in the first two games that teams are putting safety over the top of you on your vertical routes? And what do you do when you see the safety over the top? You know, do you just, how does your mindset change or anything like that? I have to do my job. Doesn't really matter, you know, if my job is to run fast down the field. That's my job. My job is to cut in, is to cut in. You know, defenses will do what they have to do. It's not my job to try to alter what's asked of me because of the defense's coverage, you know. So uh, that's how I look at it. And at the end of the day, if they are doing that, like we just said earlier, now we must take what they're giving us, you know. They want to play, you know, kind of a cover two shell, then we got to take what they're giving us. When it comes to Josh's game plan, does he seek your input, or is it just kind of something that lands on your desk? Well, I mean, to be honest with you, like, 
that's cool and all if he was seeking my input, but you're talking about a very, very special coach. You know, I think he watches what I, what I do well. He, he, you know, he watches me, tries to communicate with me about how he sees things unraveling when he watches the tape. But he don't need to ask me. <laughs> that's a very intelligent man that's been doing this for a long time, and he's had a lot of success. So I'm just grateful that he even, you know, puts me in position to do whatever. Nelson, you played for some pretty good offensive coaches before you got here. What distinguishes Josh then in that sense, or how has he proven that to you before you played your third game? Well, I will not sit here and compare anybody, but just talking about Josh, I think he's a very intelligent coach. He's super intelligent. You know, he puts guys in position to be successful, and he also understands not only protection, you know, blitz, coverages. He looks at the whole thing, you know. He, as an OC, can predict, not predict, but understand how the defenses are attacking you at all three levels. So I definitely, being here and watching him, that's something I have a lot of respect for. And he teaches us that, you know. He teaches us how the defense plan to attack you and how offensively we will attack them. Last question. I guess what was, you said I'm just really blown away having worked with Josh. How was actually working with him compared to your expectations when you first signed here, what it would be like? I didn't have expectations. Yeah, I didn't really have any expectations. I think uh, to have, you know, the greatest coach of all time, you know, Bill Belichick call you and tell you he wants you to be a part of something special, that was enough. And then obviously I've seen this offense uh, and I've seen the way that they attack defenses. So uh, I'm super happy with just to work with him because I think I learned more as a player. You know, if I just, not even from just a performance standpoint, I think as just a player that's a fan of the game of football, I learn a lot more by seeing how he sees things or hearing how he thinks he, he, he sees things. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.